parents' love and support mean and how has it influenced your life? I feel whatever I am today is because of my parents. The good, bad, right. whatever. And uh, I, um, I, you, I have told a lot of people in interviews and all, uh, I could go through life. I had a very tough life because of certain decisions I've made. I said if I could go through everything because I knew that my parents will take me in back. Right. Okay, that if I have done a mistake and if I go back, they will take me in. If I didn't have that, maybe I would have gone in a wrong direction or I don't know. But I always say to everybody that don't think what I have done you can also do. Do you have parents like mine? Right. You know, right. so that is the main strength of anyone. Even like today, a few years back, my father was alive. He was my, I mean, even then he was, it was like that. Right. You know, so I think that's so most like important. Beyond any judgment, beyond right and wrong, they always yeah. just been there. Huh. They might scold you, they might hit you, they might abuse you, but they are there for you. Very important for right. anything. Right. Without that, it's really difficult to sort of move Better, on. Very tough, very But I want to, here's a question for both of you. Uh, post the age of 50, a lot of people, and a lot in our country especially, they just start to dramatically slow down. Even emotionally, they feel, oh, uh, they blame a lot on, on just being a certain age, like, okay, now what am I going to do? Whereas with, with both of you, you guys have embarked on new chapters, new adventures, uh, almost sort of with you, so it's like, I feel like you've rebooted a whole new career. Um, Life. It's another, yeah, it's like, it's like, like, okay, I've done this, now we'll start from zero and go hit that and out of the park too. So, uh, really, what, what drives you, what drives you, keeps you motivated constantly to want to do these things? Uh, and why do you think it's not hitting a lot of people in India? After a certain age, they just feel like, I can't move. This question, I can't answer this question. Sorry. Sir, sir, not not for, not for, for me. me. Huh? I'm not 50. <laughs> So, I say, so, what do you think about those people? I mean, I'm like, they are these people. You ask me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The others. Yeah. Then I can answer for them. As our elders, what do you think are, the issue with our elders is, sir? Is, 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 re, 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 yeah, because the, you know, the way you ask me the question. Ah, nee, sorry, sir. Yes, sir. I have to leave this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I feel, of course, now, uh, you know, the new 40 is the new... Uh, almost uh, 25 or the 30. The new 50 is the 40. And the new 60 is the new 30. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, well, I think, uh, you know, uh, matter of fact, today, uh, all of you all are much more fortunate uh, that you have so much of information available to you yeah. on the tip of your finger. Uh, when I was in my 30s, obviously, uh, I was not aware of so many things. And all 20s, uh, you know, of the... It depends on, you know, from where you come from, your background, your Correct. parents. So my parents were not very physically conscious people Correct. at all. My mom and dad were not completely. That also makes a lot of difference. Uh, when you have your parents who are physically abs conscious. Abs yeah. So I, in a way, you can say I am the porch bearer <laughs> of the Kanda. <laughs> because my dad and grandfather, basically, they believed in only walks. You know, so, so but that's a great thing you said. Great, it's a yeah. cultural Indian culture, thing. Culture, yeah, walk yeah, yeah, yeah. So day. walk. So I, obviously I started with walks. So I used to go with my grandfather when I was a. Uh, I used to you know go with him uh, for walks, long walks, and uh, obviously I combined it with my voice exercises also because I wanted <laughs> to be an actor from the time I came into my senses. So I combined my walks and my voice, and I used to go and you know leave him and go to a climb a tank, you know, big tanky, go up so that nobody looks at me and start shouting and doing my voice exercise and these kind of things I used to do when I was a kid with my grandfather. So that's the journey of the physicality and the consciousness of being fit. And for me, the fitness was that he was, uh, you know, if I remember, he was in his 80s, mm. but he would have a good meal. He never dieted. Yeah. He had a good meal and the meat was very important. Bilkul, you know, bilkul, yeah. Agar, bila, bila, custard, bana. custard was a very, you know, uh, yeah. was a common man's uh, dessert, you know? ah. custard and jelly, okay, yeah. Agar, custard and jelly, nahi bana so then he would open his cupboard where his clothes were there and he would have a piece of that uh, sugar, or jo usko kya bolte hai? cube, 
वो जो वो जो 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 रॉक होता है ना शुगर का मिश्री 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 सो आई थिंक इन ऑलमोस्ट टिल ही टच नाइंटी आफ्टर हिज मील he was have his meal and he would have that mishri so that was the but obviously that what kept him fit was his walks so i started with that and then of course there were other gyms which came up after that which right. were very uh, was the talwalkar gym so the first my first time i really went into a gym was in talwalkar gym right to hum logo kya hota tha hum log jo actors the mai you know jackie and all those kind of guys when we started our careers and, you know that kind of the first time you go to the party now these days they only talk about the health and you know the fitness and all hamara sirf ye tha ki buffet ki tarah that's first go to the buffet you know or someone want to have want to have a drink or whatever so i was not really fond of drinking or something like that so i was like one of the boring guys of the industry so that's what is really uh, i'm reaping the harvest ki initially i was known as the uh, the boring actor who was you know that i would have my meal and i would go home and not have late nights and there used to be parties at my house and you know from films and all my friends would come and uh, the host would be sleeping wah you know i would my meal and go to sleep so i think that has really worked you know the simplicity of my uh, you know the way i have led my life very very simple and you, you have not really gone into intense dieting uh, or uh, you know uh, food habits or you know uh, exercising like a madman or uh, you know uh, having protein shakes or kya kuch lagate hain injection wagaira pata nahi what it is you know those kind of things you know to build their bodies along so for yeah. me it's been very very simple matter of fact i was in london and i was very fortunate to meet uh, mr forja singh Ah, who's about you know who's a marathon runner Absolutely. and he's about 105 to 106 years old 106. so i also asked him i said uh, uh, you know what is kya aapko aap kya karte ho <laughs> you know kya karte hai kaise kya karte to sabse to i'm a good listener so i keep on reinventing and listening to people who are much more uh, educative and much more jinke paas zyada gyan hai mere se to mujhe to lagta hai constantly i can always learn right so for me it's basically simple positivity and simple life which has kept him going nothing which is really extreme yeah and uh, so that's been my life But also and, most, yeah i read his diet and it, there's like nothing yeah there. so i think for uh, well, coming to your question what i would say is uh, positivity right. you know as ria just observed about that i don't believe in harboring negativity i don't i forgive and i see the good side of the people rather than seeing first i see the good sides and most of the time the good side is much more than the bad side right so oh, that keeps me very very positive right. and uh, and i move on those can i've got my own way of forgetting anything which is uh, which is going to you know stress me or you know be negative right. so i have to have a separate session for that <laughs> <laughs> to tell so what i what exactly i do for being you know uh, to keep myself positive and right. fit and energetic and uh, excited about my work because the more fitter you are the more you feel good about yourself and as i just said that one more thing which i would like to say which i would like to share with all of you all is that this one one and a half hour of your life you should dedicate totally to yourself completely right. no wife no mother no father no children no work no profession that right. can wait so when you give that one and a half hour to yourself mentally and physically and that's what we i've been following that one and a half hour that gives me the positivity the energy the strength uh, everything to be nicer and from you know professionally personally as a parent because if i'm feeling good about myself i can really give a lot but that one and a half hours do you count as also your like exercise time or this is a one and a half hours no one and a half hour everything one okay. and a half two hours right you know where i sit but you know i'm with my thoughts yeah. you know the people i want to be with that's a great you point. know yeah. and uh, talk about obviously most of the time talking about how i'm feeling so how the day will begin so what is your feeling so what kind of exercise i should do right. today i should just walk or i should run yeah. or i should do weights or should right. i do yoga today no no today i should swim and what i'm going to do so right. basically i i i i don't it's not a set routine i keep uh. on improvising you know functional so you listen to yourself listen basically. to myself yeah. and i keep on listening to people who are much more aware of and i keep on learning because the world is such today that everything is growing and science is growing and sometimes some food is good some food is not good and the change also sir the change is also happening so you have to keep your ears and eyes open so yeah. that's what i've done right yeah. i think that's a couple of great points there sir one is that also um, you 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 eat dessert still 